Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Davidson here in a shave video. Unfortunately, my lapel microphone took a crap today, so I ended up tossing it. I don't plan on getting another, so we'll do a uh, voiceover today. Got about two, three days worth of beer growth, so let's get started. Going with the Omega Synthetic Bore 10019 24mm night. Going with the Twig Sculptor, fifth to final shave on the Feather DE blade. More on that in a bit. I also went with the uh, usual suspect, the Gold Dollar 66. Fresh off the stones. And the star of today's party was Phoenix Arts Accoutrements. Doppelganger Grey Label, which is a Creed Aventus set. And it's incredible. I'll put the link below to the scent and whatnot. Very nice scent. And I'm finishing it off with the Mentholated Star Aftershave Jelly, which is fantastic. It's definitely a superstar, so think of combining uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Aftershave Splash and uh, Soap Commander Boom. Here I am wet in the face with cold water. This was a cold water shave today. Touch up took place not on video, just went straight to the stones, finished off with a uh, my pasted strop and then went to a leather strop and I've since stropped it a little bit more to make it a little bit more comfortable. All right, loading up here, I only need two swirls. Most people overload it, but two swirls. I also ended up with a piece of fuzz in my mouth. Kind of made me nasty. A little bit. Awesome. Okay, lather up. Uh, Phoenix Artists Accoutrements uh, is one of my top three brands. My top three are Soap Commander, which is on top, followed by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and the third brand was uh, Sterling Soaps. And I love the speed of uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Two swirls, and you're seeing the lather I'm getting, and it can handle a ton of water, which is a good thing. In fact, the more water you add, the slicker it gets. Getting ready to come up on uh, Dr. Matt's favorite part here in a moment. As soon as I add some more water. Here we go. That's cold water, by the way. It's always best to build a lather and shave after the shower, after you've washed everything out and prepped everything. Makes things a lot easier. Add more water. Uh, yogurt, anyone? Check that out. Nice. Okay, cleaning off the uh, lips and whatnot and earlobes and uh, get prepped properly for a sieve keep it from getting everywhere kind of hard to do special shout out to Don Hall over in North American Best Wet Shave Club happy birthday hope you had a great day and uh, enjoyed yourself I am due for a haircut. It's starting to bush out pretty bad. So next payday, I'll probably get a buzz cut with a number one guard. All right. 
Alright. Here we go. Starting with a gold dollar 66. I pull down with my opposite hand and I start on the neck and I go all as flat as I can possibly get it. And I'm doing the old Gillette slide. I always start with the neck first. That way so I can move my neck around and whatnot and get all the areas as best I can. And I also took Dr. Matt's advice and adding just a tiny bit more pressure. And it seems to have helped. Okay, now for the other side. For your with the green pass, you want the right hand for the right side of your face. The left hand on the left side of the face. Pull down with the opposite hand that you're not using to stretch the skin. It's important. If you don't stretch the skin, you're going to get cut all the pieces. Okay, now here I go to stretch the skin on the right side. The touch-up, which I did not do on video, helped tremendously. Stretch the skin on my trouble spots. A uh, surefire trick to get the uh, correct angle is to be able to get the li your little finger between the spine of the blade and your skin. It guaranteed to give you the correct angle every time. Doing the old Gillette side on the left side of the face. You know, I'm inflating my cheek here. Now, when I do my chin, I stick my tongue inside the bottom of my lip like I'm trying to press some snuff in there. Don't worry, I'm tobacco free. I have been for seven years. I don't go near it. In fact, I can't stand it. And uh, But to stretch the skin on my chin and goatee area, I stick my tongue inside the bottom of my lip and I press with my tongue to flatten it out as much as I can. It helps. Okay, and that takes care of the first pass. Now on to one of my favorite uh, trimming razors of all time, the Tweak Sculptor. Fifth and final shave on it, it's plastic. Haven't heard from Leaf about the metal one in a while now, and I did email Adam over at Leaf Shave, and uh, he was good enough to let me know that they should be entering production right about now. I was given roughly around about this time frame, and there's not been no newsletters or anything as of late. So, But there is some good news here as we uh, get through the first pass. Time for the first cold water rinse. The good news is that uh, Italian Barber has been playing with prototypes that takes a half DE blade like the Twig Sculptor. In fact, here in about a second or two, we'll transition to it. Here we go. Coming up. In fact, here's a. This was some really good shape today. In fact, here we are transitioning to the prototype of the uh, Italian Barber's version of the metal twig. It's a three piece from the looks of things so far. Here's a picture of it. I'll put the link to Italian Barber below. It hasn't been released yet, but I'll tell you what, that's going to be great. Okay, lathering up and painting the fence, if you will, for pass number two. The most shares I could get out of a feather blade into twig has been seven, and the seventh one really wasn't that comfortable. Neither was the sixth. 
So five shaves per half of a DE blade, that's 10 shaves per blade. So that's 100 shaves per pack of feather blades. If Italian Barber does come out with that uh, three-piece metal twig, count me in to get it. Because I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm putting a link below for Italian Barber. Because I'm telling you, that that's... That's one of the sweetest razors I've ever gotten. It came with my leaf razor. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm also proud to let you guys know that I invested $25 in the Maggard Razors version of a feather commissory shavette that takes the feather artist clip. So that's going to be interesting now that I'm a seasoned straight razor. I was going to get the original one again, but it's 120 bucks, and I just assumed to go ahead and spend $25 and get that one, because, uh, yeah. Now, here we are going from east to west, across the green. I use my opposite hand when I'm going across the green and against the green, but when I'm going with the green, I use the same hand on the same side of the face. Very nice. I'm pretty much considering eliminating the money pass from my rotation and just doing uh, three with the grain passes or a, across the grain and two with the grain passes. I'm thinking that might be beneficial. Because as you can see, I already got a few weepers on my chin. That edge was pretty keen. Wasn't, it was comfortable, but I think I got it too sharp. So the strop should tone it down a bit, which I've already done. Okay. I'm going to go a little low so I can get along my jawline there. Real problematic area. Okay. There we go. Stretch the skin, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have that bar or open comb that pushes the skin away from the blade and stretches for you while you shave with a straight razor, so you got to do it manually. Uh, open comb is not as much as the safety bar, but it's pretty darn close. Okay, now I go across the grain on my chin area and notice I'm using the opposite hand for the opposite side of the face. And as you can see in the middle of my neck, right on my Adam's apple, I mowed off a bump. A good one. And uh, it wasn't much, but since I'm a free bleeder, it looks like a lot. That's just the way it is. But uh, as you can see, I'm already pretty close there. About 15 minutes in, not quite 15 minutes in yet. And for the twig sculptor. Now right here is where you can tell that it's trying to pull. You see my eyes turning red and trying to water up on me. And uh, try, you see how it's trying to catch. That tells me right there that this was the, definitely the last shave on this blade. In fact, I'm having to go back and get it. There I am checking off that bump. I mowed it pretty good. My uh, friend Eric Latta over at Ventures and Wet Shaving, he also tends to mow off bumps too. Okay, cold water rinse again. Uh, the majority of my uh, beard's gone at this point. I'm really close with the exception of a few spots here and there, here and there. Like uh, on my neck area, below my ears, around the corners of my mouth and chin and whatnot, that doesn't quite get too good. So uh, I have to do a third pass to pretty much get everything cleaned up to where I want it to be. This is the money pass right here or against the gray. Not too thick of a ladder, folks. In fact, you can get away with a thin ladder throughout the whole shave. That's one thing I like about Phoenix Artisan accoutrements. It takes a lot less soap, can take a ton of water, 
and these are extremely slick and both the lather is almost instantaneous. There we go, thin lather here. Now we go back to the 66 with the money pass. Right here's where everything starts to go sour. See? Right on the bottom of the chin. It sucks having a tough beard and extremely sensitive skin. And here we go with the money pass on the cheeks. Cheeks were pretty much done. Just below the jawline and uh, whatnot, some sort of problem areas, but that pretty much took care of it. My next shave with this blade should be really good. Really good. Now that I got it dialed in and stropped where I needed it to be. Now to get my bottom of my lip go straight down. I hold the blade like I would a motorcycle handle. And uh, right below the, uh, right at the toe and the heel on the spine. And it seems to work. Now here I'm talking about sensitive skin. My goatee area is extremely sensitive, but it's also the toughest beard part of my beard you'll see really tough hard coarse beard nasty and as you can see right there uh, straight really opened me up pretty good and uh, twigs are already starting to pull bad and see how I'm having to go back over it again and again that was pretty much the end of this blade and the twig sculptor so I've done replaced it with the other half of the blade, fresh, so it should be ready for my next shave, which will probably be Monday with the uh, Kamasori Shaveette, which is scheduled to arrive Friday. Yeah, it don't look too bad. A few bumps here and there, a few little slight weepers. It happens. Nobody's perfect. And pretty slick right there, except for that one spot on my neck. You'll see me grab the brush right here and get that one spot right there. Boom. Where I went through all them surgeries uh, in 2012, they put this device called a trocar in your neck while you're in a coma. That's how they feed you and whatnot. And for some reason, even though it's healed over and you can't tell it and it didn't leave a scar there, which I'm shocked, uh, it left a divot there and it makes it hard in that area to shave. The only thing I could get in there is the twig sculptor, which I just used. And a cartridge. And due to that blade being crap, I'm having to go in at different angles to get it done. But that pretty much took care of it in one whack. Yeah, no more than I'm. And no more than I got cut and the bump, couple of bumps being mowed off and maybe a slight weeper. It, it really isn't much. It just looks like it is because I'm a free bleeder. So anytime, new guys, whether you're using a DE, a straight razor, a single edge, or even a shaveette, if it's not working for you, now for the Maggard Razor's Allen block. 
Now, if it's not working for you, go ahead and take the time to swap out the razor. Stripe it. Do what you need to do. Switch out the blade. Grab another razor. You don't need to... If it don't feel comfortable, just stop. It's been a long time since I've had a bad shave because of that. But that specific habit. And you want to use... Uh, new guys also starting out. You would be wise to get a Allen Block. I got that one from my good razors. Uh, Phoenix Artist Accoutrements. Uh, West Coast Shaving. Shave Nation. Just about every supplier I know carries them. And if you can't find them, it's all natural deodorant aisle in Walmart. You also find the uh, Clubman Jumbo Styptic Pencil. That's great. And there's one more real good one for really deep cuts and nasty cuts. And now it's getting ready to come up here in a second. Yep. And this uh, product here is amazing. Very good stuff. And that would be the Parasso Styptic Gel. If you ever get a real nasty cut, the styptic pencil won't help. Get you some of that. It really seals up everything. As you can see. Okay, I tried to go a little long after applying the alum and the styptic gel. And uh, here I am examining to see if I've got any more scragglers anywhere, which I didn't. <laughs> I try to give the alum and styptic gel and styptic pencils all that. Most people... Uh, put them on and take them off no sir and put them on they're not letting it do its thing i try to wait a little while as i'm doing here i'm cleaning my brush actually trying to give the alum and styptic gel time to do its thing and seal off everything you want to give it time to do its thing so if you're just going to put it on and take it off you're kind of wasting your time you need to let it react and do what it needs to do to get everything sealed off and whatnot Little spot there, no big deal. Here we go. Now for another cold water rinse coming up, but uh, not for a good bit. I'm actually still cleaning out the brush and doing a good job on it. That's one thing I love about synthetics there's no break in period, they clean out real easy and they dry within two hours. Real animal hair takes forever in a day of drive. Here we are recapping. I went with the Omega Synthetic Bore 10019 24 millimeter knot. I went with the uh, Twig Sculptor 5th and Final Shave on the Feather Ace, feather High Stainless Blade. Went with the Gold Dollar 66 which was fresh off the stones. And the star of today's party was Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements Doppelganger Gray Label, which is a Creed Aventus scent. Fantastic. And I'm finishing it off with Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements Mentholated Aftershave Jelly. It is fantastic. The menthol is very, very soothing. I'll pick it over a Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements Aftershave Splash. Which says a lot. Think of combining uh, Soap Commander Bomb with the after with the uh, PAA's aftershave splash, and you got the aftershave jelly. It's fantastic. Cold water rinsing again. I'm patent rinsing, if you will. Uh, pro tip for you guys with spouses and whatnot and better halves: use a washcloth to rinse with, so you don't flood the bathroom. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. And pat and dry. No need to rub. Okay, now for the aftershave jelly. Mentholated aftershave jelly, which is very soothing, especially if you're severely irritated. Now we get the unscented star jelly, mentholated, uh, for sunburnt skin and whatnot. Very good. And soap commander's bombs are good, and so is Sterling's. And uh, Phoenix Arts Accoutrements also has really good uh, 
uh, aftershave bombs. Fantastic. What a fantastic shave. I'm going to put the rest on for the other. Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care and God bless, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you on the next shave. Sorry for the voiceover, but what can you do? Later.